Hey, it's Joe Tabargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to, uh, back to part 11 or 12, I think this is. Okay, and what we're doing now is we're replacing the front bearing on the Waterway Executive Spa Pump. All right, the first thing you want to do is hit the subscribe button below. That way you get the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox every time we publish. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put on a new front bearing onto this armor shaft. All right, so here's our new bearing right here. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the box. Now, kits are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. They come with the bearings and the seals, all that good stuff. All right, we don't want to make this in too much of a commercial for you, but here we go. So what we're going to do now is take the new bearing, and what we're going to do is just stand up the armature shaft just like this. I'm going to take my front bearing and just gently slip it on just like that. See, that's nice. The waterway just slips right on there. Give it that little groove spot. See that? You slip it on like that. Now, once you slip it on, you want to take a black pipe nipple just like this which is going to fit the outside race or the outside edge of the black pipe nipple is going to fit nicely in the inside race of this bearing. We're going to slide this right on there like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pound this bearing on just like that. Now, a lot of guys watching might think like, oh, you need a press. You don't need a press, okay? Because if you use a press, yeah, it goes on. But at the same time, the press would just be pushing the pipe. I remember when I first showed Robert this, he's like, yo, dude, why are we taking like 20 minutes to set the press up and every time we could be like, bam, bam. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, it's a good point. You know, because you're, you're applying the pressure on the center of the bearing anyway. If you tried to push the bearing on from the outside, you know, you could break that. But when you're doing the center, you, you're totally fine. All right, so here we go. We just go like, well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. There you go. My bearing's on. Nice part about this uh, motor is it goes all the way to the edge, so you don't have to worry about anything behind there or, you know, something else like that. So there you go. My bearing is now on. Now, the next step, what I'm going to be showing you in the next video, is we're going to be putting back on... Oh, no, almost knocked over the kits. We're going to be putting back on the uh, front end belt. Now, remember, when you put the front belt on, I'm going to do this in another video, but find this piece, that little barrier plate, release we removed before. It's time to use this, okay? This is going to go inside here, and then we're going to put this back together. But we're going to show you that on the next video up close, so you can see it up close where the first is being so far away. And you're probably thinking at home, like, really? You're not that far away, Joe. But... Yeah, we're going to give you an even closer look. All right, so once again, this is Joseph Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. See you in the next step where we show you how to assemble the uh, front end belt. Thanks for watching. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.